guys, today I'm going to talk to you about how I practice figure drawing. What I start off with is I open up Google and I get the timer out. And I always start it with 30 seconds, so I can do 30 second thumbnail drawings. So what I'm going to do next is I've opened up Photoshop and I am labeling everything. So starting with the 30 seconds, moving on to 1 minute, 2 minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and then 15 minutes. So once I have that, I'll have everything set up. And when it's all set up, I can start drawing. So I'm going to move in and start drawing the 30 second gesture drawings. When you're drawing these, you want to stay nice and loose. Um, it's not about getting the details, it's all about just getting the shapes, getting those limbs on there and doing it very quickly because again, you only have 30 seconds. So as I'm drawing these, I'm trying to be nice and quick. So here are the rest of them. Next up, I'm going to start showing you how I'm going to do the one minute drawings. So again, these are called gesture drawings and it's all about just getting the basic gesture. You don't want to get bogged down on the details. You want to make sure that you're just getting all the shapes and the proportions right and you're focusing on that rather than the details. So on the first one, you can see I put the eyes on there. Um, normally I wouldn't really want to do that in one minute. so. As I draw these next ones, you can see I'm realizing that mistake and trying to focus more on just getting the proportions right, getting the shapes right, and making sure the body looks correct. Next up, I have the two minute sketches. So the point of this, these exercises is that it gets you to draw all the people multiple times. And when you're drawing something multiple times, you're gonna get better. And it really helps you think about proportion and shapes, and it forces you to do it at certain time increments. So with the 30 seconds, you have to do really quickly. And adding that bit of time, you can slowly start adding more and more detail as you are going through this process. And I feel like it really does help improve your ability to draw people. The more I've been doing it, the more I've been finding that my own drawings have improved.
I'll reset my timer, change it to five minutes, and I'll start drawing the next gesture drawing for five minutes. Next up for this 10 minute drawing, I'm going to have some more time to get in those details like drawing in the face, drawing some hair, and it's a lot easier for me to do this because I've been practicing and I'm warmed up already because of all the other gesture drawings I've already created. I decided I wanted to do another 10 minute drawing. There really is no limit to how many times you draw something in whatever time limit it is. You can change it and organize it the way that you want for it. And it's practice, it's how you choose to practice. So if you follow the format, if you change it a little bit, it's totally fine, it's up to you. Change it to make it so that it fits with what you are drawing and what you care about. Next, after I am done with this 10 minute one, I'll start the 15 minute one. So this one, you can see I'm starting to do a lot more details and adding in those. So I'll let you watch that. Thanks again for watching and enjoy. Enjoy.